Hi, I'm Anders. I'm from Copenhagen in Denmark. And I'm Ida, <coughs> also from Copenhagen. So you are here for sightseeing? Uh, yeah, we study law, both of us. And we are here to visit some law companies and also learn something about Japanese law and yeah, maybe yeah. Japanese history. And, yeah, very interesting. But we've just come today, so we haven't really learned anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot really eat meat. No, I only eat fish. We're gonna go to a soba restaurant, yeah. mm. so okay. maybe you can try some uh, good noodles yeah. with some uh, deep fried fish, yeah. stuff like that. Lovely. So nice. let's go. <laughs> All right. I really like it here. I think everyone is so kind and comprehensive, and and they take very much care of each other. You find yeah. the impression mm. that yeah. And you just feel very safe all the time. Yeah. I really like it. Yeah. Shrimp is okay for you? Yeah. What do you want to drink? Like, you want to drink beer or <laughs> some sake or uh, soft drinks? I, I mean, water is fine. Water is fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. water is very fine. <laughs> but Denmark has like a uh, well, famous beer. Yeah? Oh, Karlsberg. Karlsberg. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love it, I love it. Yeah, you yeah. 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 yeah, here in Japan, we also. Ah, you have that. Oh, Arts Park is everywhere. Cool. I'm so impressed. Yeah. Yeah. In 7 Eleven, we, we love buying those small triangles of uh, rice. Um, yes. you, have, uh, then you have something within it, like. Uh, um, yes. Yeah. I there are many kinds. Of yeah, many the kinds. Rice bowl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Depends on the rice bowl. There's yeah. like sometimes salmon or sometimes mackerel. Yeah, or tuna. Tuna, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plum. Yeah. plum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, very plum. good, the plum. Yeah. Um, one of the traditional foods in Denmark is uh, yeah. it's like a piece of bread and mm -hmm. then you put some, it's like a, an open sandwich in a way. Danes seem to be very proud of this national dish. Mm -hmm. And I just think it reminds me a little bit of those rice yeah. triangles because it's a little bit the same concept that you have like bread or rice and then yeah. you have something within it. That what is the name of the foods? It, it's called the smørbrød. It's like sourdough, rye bread at the bottom mm. and then different kinds of meat dressing toppings mm. wow, wow. Yeah. it looks great yeah, yeah doesn't it yeah it's delicious <laughs> if you're hungry at home and you just need to have something yeah. like you just take a piece of bread when, and put something yeah, yeah. We, when we celebrate like big family birthdays they usually order like one big piece of mm -hmm. bread and then with all the different toppings so you can cut it's almost like a cake oh yeah so we call it uh, like a smurple's cake. Yeah. <laughs> Is there, are there always uh, so many people in this area? This time, yeah. because of the virus. Ah. You know like, what virus is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because of that, not much foreigners ah. come to this area. Because you still so we are lucky in a way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is one of the famous, yeah. most mm. famous tourist area yeah. in, in Tokyo. So I usually come here to find some foreigners for uh, my video, but yeah, sure. this time it's kind of hard because uh, of this, yeah, 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 <laughs> because yeah, of the yeah. less yeah. 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 So I'm yeah. lucky to meet you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but also six people from our group uh, decided not to go to Japan uh, because of the virus. Yeah, but Denmark is in kind of a panic mm -hmm. right now because we just had uh, three cases for the first time. Wash your hands mm. with this towel. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a lot of food. Oh, it smells wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> it looks delicious. <laughs> yeah. This is just a noodle, soba noodle. And this is like kind of special soup for yeah. one noodle. So you just pour here. Mixed with the uh, green onions. And if you want, like you put some wasabi yeah. in it. Mm -hmm. This is from a different area in Japan, or yes, this is just a vegetables, yeah, but yeah, deep fried yeah. mm -hmm. and shrimps, mm -hmm. deep fried. Yeah, we yeah, call yeah. it tempura, and we have also a special soup a for soup. tempura. Mm -hmm. So we just dip in the soup and eat. And then do you eat like one dish at a time, or do you mix a little bit? Maybe some try some noodles, mm -hmm. and then after you go to like tempura to eat, yeah. ah. and it's kind of. Kind of mix it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Because I find often you have like when we order something at a restaurant, yeah, a lot of small bowls everywhere. And <laughs> it's, I really like it to so take a little bit from. But I don't know if that's the right way to uh, do it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we do like this. Yes. Like Sometimes it's kind of hard to use chopsticks for you, right? Mm. So yeah. better you hold up this one, even if 
the soba noodles drops ah. Ah. and spit to your oh, okay. bodies. Yeah. Too scared to act <laughs> like impolite. <laughs> oh, here we go. Success. <laughs> This is like a radish. Okay. We kind of grind it and yeah. make it like this. And also ginger on top. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we kind of also put here and just uh -huh. mix it. Like this? Yes. It's not that spicy. No, The name of this? Oba. Oba? Oba is kind of leaf. Yeah. Yeah, from the plant. You can try this one. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Not for her, no. because of the meat. <laughs> is it beef or? It's a uh, chicken, I mean oh. duck. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's good. Mm. Very good. Is all of this like um, traditional Japanese mm -hmm. food? Yes. Like, so your yeah. grandmother would know it like... Yeah. Hmm? This is something we eat at home. Mm. You have so many dishes, I have the impression that Japanese traditional food, if you write a book about it, it's <laughs> like... <laughs> we also like noodles. Mm. We have like soba and ramen mm. and yeah. also udon. Mm. Yeah. There are I so love many. udon. Oh, you like... <laughs> is this a mushroom? Yes, that's mushroom. Yeah. Mm. Do you eat yeah, like mushrooms? Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, like it? Delicious. Mm? But I love mushrooms. <laughs> Great. Oh, it's so big. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah. This is so beautiful in a way. I don't know. How do, mm. how do they make it? Chungiku. <laughs> Chungiku <laughs> is like, yeah. I don't know how to call it. <laughs> <laughs> It's very good. Yeah. It's a little bit of a The shrimp is really good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, it's just a pepper? Yeah. It's uh -huh. good, yes. Mm. Right. Mm. Mm. Very good. Yeah. Oh, what's in the... the oh. This is hot water mm -hmm. that they use when they make noodles. Mm. Oh. So... You can pour the water pour on the water. Pour the water. <laughs> Like ah. You don't have to drink everything because it's kind of salty. Ah. You just sip a little bit. It's good. Mm. It's very good. <laughs> I really like this actually. Mm. 
Did you notice that like when Japanese people eat noodles, we kind of slurp? I just noticed now. <laughs> yeah. But it's not like a bad manner here in Japan. Like it's kind of normal. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like make some sounds. Yeah. Wow. When we're kids. We we're told that it's very rude. Yeah, it's yes. very rude. It's yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's uh, like a fukinoto. Oh, is it like a root? Vegetable. Mm. Mm. A bit like asparagus. Yeah, or something. Yeah, something yeah. like asparagus. Yeah. Mm. If I go to like a Copenhagen. Yeah. What kind of sightseeing places should I see? Uh, okay, I, my best recommendation yeah. So you should rent a bike mm -hmm. and then you should go to uh, Nørrebro. And then it's like a very interesting area of town. You should just maybe bike around and have a cup of coffee oh. and one of yeah. the cafes because it's... I really like uh, Freetown Christiania. It's, it's like uh, a small part of the city where uh, I think it used to be a military base. Yeah. Uh, and then I think in the 60s, uh, 60s or 70s, a group of like anarchists almost uh, occupied mm -hmm. the old base because it wasn't in use. But right. it's kind of a, a hippie place. Almost. Yeah, really. Yeah. yeah. Can you type the name? Yeah. Uh, you can have a beer or. Okay. Yeah. And then. Then there's uh, Pusher Street as yeah. well, which is the famous street in Copenhagen where there. There's open sale of uh, of weed, so it's not legal in Denmark. Really? But still, uh, there are sell. a lot of shops <laughs> where you can buy it. Mm. So it's okay. You can actually smoke. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like it's like officially it's not okay, but everyone does it. So it's like yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and if you want to find a very picturesque place in Copenhagen, like there is a street called Snake, which is like oh. very old old style yeah. like with cobblestone and colored buildings and yeah yeah oh yeah it's a little so it's beautiful. quite charming isn't it yes pretty old yeah yes. right yeah yeah <coughs> yeah and then of course you should see new Holland if you come to yeah. visit the, the new yeah. harbor yeah. New harbor. Is, yeah that's the place that's used for photos of copenhagen everywhere oh, okay. like the mm. the colorful houses yeah. next to the water okay so i really like this i think and the most wonderful thing about it was that you presented it to us so that oh, yeah. we knew a little bit about it other than just watching the pictures before we oh, okay. ate it yeah it was very very nice i yeah. really liked it yeah yeah, th this was such a nice introduction to the Japanese cuisine. Mm. Uh, I really enjoyed the peppers <laughs> and, uh, and the noodles as well. And uh, yeah, thank you for presenting this to us. Thank yeah. you. Thank, thank you, you so much. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful trip. Oh, thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you.